Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. This is going to be my third upload where I talk into the camera about a cer certain event, okay? Uh, the first one was a general information about Prince Mustafa. The second upload was how Prince Mustafa's grandfather, stern Sultan Selim, became the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. And today, today we will talk about Prince Mustafa's younger brother. His younger brother's name was Bayezid. That's the topic for today. By the way, my name is Ridvan. And um, thank you for watching. Here we go. So, so <clears throat> before we get into the topic, I would like to make this comment known. During these talks, it's, it's, it's about events, past events, and past individuals. Therefore, in no way are we or I am trying to insult anybody from the past. I'd, I'd like to make that clear. All we're doing now, or I should uh, talk in uh, first person terms, all I'm doing is just reviewing and talking about these events and bringing it to the discussion. Uh, please do not think that these individuals from the past if they did something wrong and we're all humans right so we can all make mistakes but that should not give us the right to to insult them right because they, they passed on they can't defend themselves they can't defend their actions therefore it's just wise to talk about the event learn from it see what the errors are right I'm doing here all I'm trying to do is just uh, review and talk and relay the information to the viewers and um, the talk is in English obviously because I notice there's not a lot of information out there that's in English regarding some of these important characters from the Ottoman Empire and um, and today uh, it is Prince Prince Mustafa's brother, uh, Prince Bayezid. Who was Bayezid? Bayezid was the son of Sultan Suleiman, who was the ruler at the time. Bayezid was born on, on 1525. He was exactly 10 years younger than Prince Mustafa. Prince Mustafa was the son of Mahi Devran. We talked about that briefly in upload number one. Prince Bayezid was the son of of Hurem Sultan. And Hurem Sultan, we could uh, open a, a paragraph and it might be a very long paragraph, so let's keep it short. Hurem Sultan was a slave girl that came into the empire. Okay? And they say she was either Polish or Ukrainian, okay? She entered the harem of Empire. the Ottoman Empire. She caught the eye of, of Sultan Suleiman's mother. And the mother's name was Hafsa, Hafsa Sultan. Uh, therefore, uh, some people might ask, well, what's the mother got to do with, uh, with uh, Sultan Suleiman's uh, love for Hiram or uh, Hiram getting involved with Sultan Suleiman? Back then, uh, it, it, the Haram girls needed to be liked by the, um, the mothers of the Sultan. If the mother liked the girl, then that girl would be presented, I know it sounds bad now because presented meaning as a gift, right? Presented to the Sultan and then afterwards if the Sultan liked the girl 
there would be a relationship between them. If he didn't have an interest in the girl, then the girl would, would I guess, live her days until the next time she was able to meet the Sultan. Okay? So, um, so, so that's how Huram entered the Harem. Huram, Harem. I didn't know that. It kind of rhymed. <laughs> um, that's how she entered the Harem. And then Hafsa Sultan saw Huram and presented Huram to Sultan Suleiman. And the rest is history, as they say. Huram being the fa the mother, I apologize, not the father, the mother of a, a few a few children between Suleiman and Huram. So let's close the bracket for Huram. That could be another upload down the future about Huram because she was a very dynamic person within the empire during those days. She had big influence on 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 the Sultan and everybody around her. So we can talk about Huram in another upload. Today it's Prince Bayezid. Prince Bayezid, <clears throat> Bayezid is an interesting name, isn't it? Bayezid. Bayez in Turkish means white. Okay, so Bayezid is a Persian, Persian name, and it entered into the into the Turkish or the Ottoman language, and um, that's the name of Bayezid there. Bayezid was was not the favorite prince to succeed Sultan Suleiman. We talked about this briefly. The the strongest candidate to become the next Sultan after Suleiman was Prince Mustafa. But after the passing of Prince Mustafa, in what year was it? It was 1553. In 1553, Bayezid became the, the most liked person or prince uh, in the army and the common people of the Ottoman Empire. He was he was looked at uh, the the next prince to succeed Sultan Suleiman, but let's back up just a tiny bit. So in fifteen fifty three, when Mustafa was strangled uh, uh, by Sultan Suleiman's men, his soldiers, there was only two candidates to the Ottoman throne left. Okay, so the two candidates to become the next sultan war uh, prince selim and prince bayezid so selim was two years older than bayezid so there was two two of them left and it was 1553 and in 1553 bayezid was what does what that make him 25 years old is that what it is? 25, 27 years old. And Selim was in his late 20s. Okay, so let's say 28, 29, right around there. So the competition began between the two princes to become the next sultan of the Ottoman Empire. Okay? And um, it, 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 we talked about this before. Each son of a sultan gets to govern a small area within the empire to learn right to to learn how to be a leader right to learn how to people manage right and selim at the time was was the governor of the city of manisa manisa which is southwest turkey okay for those who've been to Turkey. And Bayezid was the governor of Kütahya. Kütahya. That's that's also in the in the south south part of Turkey. And the distance of Manisa and Kütahya to the capital city was about the same. Okay? And why is that important? Because 
if Sultan Suleiman passed away, whoever got to the capital city first became the Sultan, right? Strategically very important where your governor uh, building or where you reside, right? So in this case, both Selim and Bayezid were in equal distance, okay? But uh, Sultan Suleiman, hearing all the rumors and the, the um, I guess, head bunting, head bunting between the two two sons, he was very upset at this. And Sultan Suleiman uh, was in his early sixties, and back then, early sixties was a, was a, was an old age, because back then people didn't necessarily live that long, right? Therefore, here's this old sultan, right? His wife, Hurem, had passed away, okay? He, he, he gave the order for the number one candidate to succeed him, which was Prince Mustafa. He gave the order to have him killed, right? So I can picture, and it's up for, it's up for discussion with everyone out there, I believe... Sultan Suleiman the condition during these years was not very good, right? He was he had health problems we know of. He was depressed because his his love, uh, meaning his his wife Hurem had passed away. He was still battling with the past decision to have his son killed, Mustafa, and now his two remaining sons that are. Uh, competing against each other for the Ottoman throne were were fighting amongst themselves. So what did, what did uh, Sultan Suleiman do? Well, this is what he did. Sultan Suleiman sent Selim further away from the capital city, the Topkapı Palace, Istanbul, to Konya. So Selim went from the city of Manisa to the city of Konya, further away. Konya is in the middle area of, of Turkey. And Bayezid, Bayezid was sent to Kütahya. Kütahya, did I say that properly? I'm sorry, no, not Kütahya. He was sent to Amasya. He was sent from Kütahya to Amasya. So now... Both princes are further away from Istanbul, okay, but about equal distance to the capital city. So in essence, it was not a very good move by Sultan Suleiman. He just sent them further away from the capital city, meaning I, I despise both of you. I despise your fighting amongst each of you. I'm sending both of you further away from the capital city. Something along that line. Okay. What happened next was very interesting. Selim, being the character he was, he, he did not object. He, he obeyed and, and took his family to Konya. No problem there, right? Excuse me. Excuse me here. But what did Bayezid do? Bayezid, Bayezid objected a bit. He did not want to go from Kütahya to Amasya. Okay? And, and therefore, there was a bit of struggle there between Suleiman and Bayezid. And this, this even as small as, as it was, this incident right away uh, made Bayezid not the favorite to become the Sultan. In the eyes of Sultan Suleiman, Bayezid was not the number one candidate to succeed him. When Bayezid heard this, he, he was upset, obviously, right? And the fighting among Selim and Bayezid 
further heated up. And it occurred on a battlefield of all places. Battlefield between Selim's army and Beyazet's army. But guess what? Sultan Suleiman sided with who? So you have two sons fighting amongst each other, two armies going going head to head. What did Suleiman do? The Sultan. He's the Sultan, but his two sons are fighting in his land. Well, what Suleiman did was he sided with Selim, the, the son with the least amount of, of I guess, um, temper, temperament. So now you have Selim, Selim's army, Beazit, Beazit's army, and now the Ottoman Empire's army going up against uh, Beazit. I'm sure everyone will guess what happened. Beazit was defeated, okay? This was in the year 1559. So six years after Prince Mustafa had passed away. Okay? So in six year time, there was a fight between two remaining sons and Bayezid was defeated. What did he do now? He took his family and he escaped out of the empire's borders and he went to to the Iranian Empire Empire's lands. Back then they weren't referred to as the Iranian Empire. They were the Safavids. Mm. And um, that's where Bayezid went. He went to the Safavids, which was a wrong move by Bayezid. But what can you do when you have the Ottoman Empire the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, Empire, uh, that wants you dead. Wow. Yeah, the, I, I just wanted to take a pause here and uh, we can come back to the year 1559. But I wanted to talk briefly about why Bayezid was not the favorite in Sultan Suleiman's eye. There was another incident very important incident that I want to take you back to, to the year 1553. So in the year 1553, when, when Sultan Suleiman was getting, uh, 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 preparing for uh, a campaign against the same empire, the Safavids, he he dispatched an order to Mustafa to join his forces and we know we talked about this briefly in in the meeting between Suleiman and Mustafa Suleiman had Mustafa killed okay that was the year 1553 because Suleiman had left the capital city for the campaign he would always designate somebody uh, as uh, as is uh, uh, as the temporary sultan while he's away right because sultan suleiman left the capital city and now there's a there's a temporary ruler until he comes back okay and who was that ruler when he went to for the campaign against the iranians well that was bayezid okay bayezid was the temporary ruler of the Ottoman Empire, okay? And when Bayezid heard that Sultan Suleiman killed his older brother, Mustafa, Bayezid was very close to taking the empire from uh, Suleiman's hands. As in, he was ready to just take over the empire. He was that upset at his father for killing his older brother. One of his counselors relayed this message to Suleiman. And Suleiman, upon hearing this, was very upset. Upset, thinking, my goodness, I, I, I give uh, 
has it the job to hold down the fort while I'm away and what does he do or what does he want to do he wants to become the ruler of the empire while I'm still alive so that upset Sultan Suleiman and he kept that in his mind he had a grudge against Bayezid and he held that that was in 1553 and he held that for many years up until the decision in 1559 when Selim and Bayezid were getting ready to battle on the field okay and then he made the decision meaning he Suleiman to side with Selim against his other son okay uh, let me just check it's been 22 minutes so let me try to summarize now so now we're at 1559 and Bayezid has escaped out of the Ottoman lands into the Iranians what happens well he stays in in the Safavid lands for two years until Suleiman finally finally sends presence and gives lands to the Iranian Empire to have his sons his son back and what happened to Bayezid when he was given back to the Ottomans well he was executed and I, I want to emphasize this part so Sultan Suleiman in the year 1553 executed or killed or strangled his oldest son Mustafa okay then in the year 1561 he gave the order to have Bayezid executed let that sink in for a few seconds there isn't that amazing Sultan Suleiman having two of his sons executed until there is no competition now for the next Sultan of the Empire and who's that then well, we should all guess the next Sultan was Sultan Selim. And if I could just ask your permission, I want to read who else was executed along with Bayezid. Because Bayezid had five kids. So think about that. Bayezid was executed by his father, but his father gave the order to have. Bayezid and his children, that means his grandchildren, executed. So let me just read. So the five children or sons of Bayezid war. I'm going to read the names out. The oldest one was Shehzade Orhan. The second one, I'm sorry I shouldn't have said Shehzade Shehzade means Prince okay so let's let's go back the first one was Prince Orhan number two Prince Osman number three Prince Abdullah number four Prince Mahmud number five Prince Mehmet just reading those names I, I as I I'm, I'm, I'm a bit upset so as you can see I'm I'm uh, I'm, I'm sad at 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 the decision of Suleiman giving the order to have his son Bayezid killed but he not only killed Bayezid he had his grandchildren also killed let me close that now isn't that amazing like think about that for a sec two two to not have the grandchildren take revenge on a decision that he made to have Bayezid killed, Suleiman killed all of them. There is going to be no revenge then. That upsets me. That upsets me very much. It. it I said it at the beginning. We're here to just talk about the events. We don't want to say anything bad about the decisions. I guess they know better than us. 
but we can't cl clearly say that what he did or Suleiman did in my eye 500 years later granted it's been 500 years I, I think the action was wrong right it was wrong and here's a question and then I'll answer it right after where do you think Bayezid and his family are buried because the answer is is anybody connected to the Ottoman Empire who was in good terms with the Ottoman Empire are buried in Istanbul because that's where the capital city was anybody that was not in favor okay they the bodies were not taken back to Istanbul so isn't that also a sad sad event well the answer is Bayezid and his family are buried in Sivas Sivas is a city in northern Turkey well let's just leave it at that we spoke today about Bayezid and and <clears throat> and his children and how he, he was one of the contenders to the Ottoman throne but was executed by Sultan Suleiman well I think I'll leave it at that my name is Ridvan thank you for watching we'll see you in another upload and uh, I said it before please like or dislike please make a comment please suggest something please please write if I've made any errors and we're here to learn we can learn from each other but again thank you thank you for watching and have yourself an awesome day bye-bye